What is the fastest way to get your backing angle on a hip or valley? Many a carpenter has asked over the years, and there's a lot of answers. Most traditional way, take half the thickness of the framing member. In this case, it's an inch and a quarter and parallel it to the plumb line like that. And where it meets the top of the rafter, put your square on it, and make a mark across. And then take that mark and just transfer it alongside your rafter with your pencil and measure up to the top. That'd be your rise and half the thickness would be your run and Use your rise run ratio to calculate this angle to run your saw up and down it. Now, I cut the hip or the valley before I back it, so I have an off cut sitting there, and I just pick it up, throw my square on it till it runs to the center line and draw a line. That's your backing angle. Same thing. Transfer it on up the side of the framing member and measure it. In this case, it's about 9 sixteenths. 5 eighths would be a half of an inch and a quarter. And that would be, as some people know, a 612 pitch, which would be 26 and a half degrees. But this is, this is less, I'm guessing. I'm going to say it's 9 sixteenths. So I take this trig calculator, of which I have about nine carcasses that need new batteries laying around since... 1996, and I punch in 9 sixteenths, which I'll push clear, which it is, and go 0 0.6, which is 9 sixteenths, divided by, remember the rise run ratio is division, divided by, divided by 1.25 equals, <coughs> that's half the thickness of the framing member, and that'll give us the rise run ratio, which in this case is 0 0.48, almost a half. And then, this little green button, second, it's inversion, push it, and then tangent. Second tangent. That gives you the angle to set your saw to, to run it up and down. In this case, it's 25.64 degrees. Now, there's another school that says, just run your backing angle the same as the hip itself. So, say with a 12-12 pitch, the hip and valley is at 35.25 degrees. You would just set your saw at 35.25 degrees. But then again, you have to calculate where you would start so that it would end up at the center of the rafter. So that's the beauty of this. Once again, if you just said 35.25 and then pushed tangent, I give us our rise ratio, 0 0.70 multiplied by half the thickness would be times 1.25 equals 7 eighths, 88, 0.88. So for the 12 12, if you were using a 3 by stock, you go down 7 eighths, go across an inch and a quarter, and that would be your little triangle that you're removing yeah but i feel like my way is faster easier the scrap is there boom done